YouTube family. Let's talk about it. A little bit of gold. You had that man Cameron responding and, and saying he's gonna drop that bag of information on dudes who be saying his name. He's talking about personal dipset members who refuse to stop saying his name and spreading them lies. Now he got a lot to say. So let's pay these bills and get to what these folks got to talk about. Ladies and gentlemen, before we start, make sure you go to my Instagram, DJ underscore bless one for more of them hits out here. You heard? He played the, the freestyle. So Cam was like, oh, okay, that's un. Well, who's the second nigga? <clears throat> and Luca Brasi was like, oh, that's my nigga from the Bronx. Right. He's like, call that nigga. I'll call that nigga right now. And look how Brazzy called me. I'm in the Bronx just chilling. You know, I like I gotta turn myself in. I'm on a run. I'm, I'm running a run from New London. I'm, my life is in shambles right now, nigga. I'm about to go to jail. And I get a call from Look Out Brazzy talking about Cameron just heard my freestyle. Come to the 145th from Broadway. I'm like, yo, look, I stop fucking playing with me, man. I ain't got time for no games, man. My life too real right now, nigga. Right. He like, oh, you don't believe me? I put Cam on the phone. Hey, yo, this can't be. Yo, what's up? I just heard that new freestyle beat. Come to the, come to the hill. I'm like, oh shit, I know this voice. Mm -hmm. I've been listening to this voice all my fucking life as a rap fan. So I'm like, oh shit, it's really Cam. So I went down there, I met the nigga. He had the rock chain on. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh shit, this shit is really real. I'm telling them no, cause you guys was cool. I'ma tell niggas how niggas wife, the hoe from the block, had a kid with him. Then got mad because she was a hoe from the block. We told you she's a hoe from the block. I'm going to talk about how niggas got beat up on their own block. Beg me to come to their block because niggas on their block beat them up before the internet. I'm going to talk about how niggas was junkies and drug addicts and everything else. I'm telling you, I got mad dirt. I got iPhone 3s and 4s in a safe just for y'all niggas and bitches. I got all my old phones. I got the DMs in Texas from this year. We y'all begging me to still come fuck with y'all, to still work with y'all. Men and female, I promise you, look, I'm looking at him. Mr. Petty is right here. He's right here, waiting on y'all. Leave this nigga alone. When a nigga asks you about me, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, be like, I'd rather not talk about it. I promise you, it's nobody above me having dirt on you, bad dirt. Nobody. I promise you this ain't what y'all want. Stop lying on me. I ain't fuck with none of y'all in the last 10, 15 years. It's sad that niggas are still asking y'all niggas about me and females. That go to show y'all ain't do shit since I stopped fucking with y'all. So niggas still asking y'all about me? I'm talking about everybody. It's not one person. It's several. Several. Y'all gotta have something better going on in life. It's been 10, 15 years since I stopped fucking with you niggas and bitches. And this is what they ask y'all in interviews. That go to show you should be mad about that, that you ain't doing shit with your life. Any person I work with made at least six digits, if not millions. It's not my fault that you don't know how to spend your money and you go broke after you get the money. It ain't one person I work with that they can get at least six digits, minimum, if not millions. Keep it up. Keep it up. I promise you. I promise you. I have all of your files. I screenshot the text messages, the DMs, since iPhone 3 was out. I promise you, I have the iPhone 3, the iPhone 12, still begging all of y'all. Niggas and bitches. I'm going to end it there. I promise you. Say, let one, say anything about me. Say one thing. Say one thing. That was fucking dirty. I told a bunch of stories about the show me where the fucking ladies at. I mean, have a good fucking night. So all this men on men shit is gay. Hell bro does not participate in men on men business. I am a man on woman business. I don't mix me with all this sucker gay and educational shit. purpose. I'm a man's man. I don't get up here and then, 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 and then, 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 When you see me, nigga, you stand on whatever the fuck you say. I ain't got time to be getting on this motherfucking live or this app to be fucking capping because I'm a fucking tourist. I'm not a Capricorn. So all you internet niggas, 
that want to log on and watch my fucking life and confuse me and put my name in shit, keep having a lot of it. I'm minding my business. I'm taking care of my kids. I'm out here looking sexy for the motherfucking women. I got a fucking catalog of gangster music. And if you don't like me, you can fucking pull up on me. But all this internet shit is goofy. I know you niggas that's participating in it is fucking goofy. If a nigga don't fucking mention my name or call me the fuck out, I ignore it. All right? So don't mix in my name for nothing. I'm positive. I'm happy. I'm a changed man. I'm sexy now for the ladies. I don't want to be gangster. I don't want to go to jail no more. I went to jail my whole fucking life. You got niggas that never been to fucking jail acting tough. I don't want to go to fucking jail. I don't want a fucking CEO telling me to lock in. It's count time. Bent over no homo. I don't want nothing to do with fucking men. You niggas discuss men more than fucking females. And I'm tired of this shit. Where is the ladies? Get the fuck out of here, men. I don't want to be around a bunch of fucking men. Unless I have to. And I don't want to. So please, don't confuse me with nothing that got to do with men unless money is being exchanged. I don't want to participate, participate in no beef, no gossip, no girl shit. Those are female traits. I'm a fucking man. I got two kids. I'm a girl dad. I don't participate in little boy bullshit. I cater to women and children, not fucking grown men. You got a problem, nigga? Fix it. You got a problem with me? Address it. If not, leave me alone. Let me remain positive and enjoy your fucking life. And let me stay sexy for the ladies. Move out the fucking way so the ladies can get a better view of me. Other than that, don't fucking mix me with no motherfucking politics. I'm a weak sad nigga. I'm a verified motherfucking gay number. But I changed my life. Now, you can see he still kept going. He talked about changing his life, and he had more to say after well, that. I never used to do that. Don't make me go back to the nigga that I used to be. All right? Because this internet shit is one big facade. When this shit cut the fuck off, nobody bothers me. If I delete this fucking app right now, I wouldn't even know what the fuck is going on in the world because nobody bothers me. Only time I hear you niggas is when I come on this motherfucking Instagram log. And when I log up this shit, nobody bothers me, presses me, wants no problems with me. And I'm not saying that I'm the toughest nigga in the world, but y'all niggas is taking social media too fucking serious. That's why come October, after I buy my cousin Mecca a fucking Rolex and my baby a Rolex, I'm deleting this fucking Instagram I don't need it. You niggas need it. Every fucking day, y'all niggas come up on this shit and gossip like little fucking bitches. He did this. Oh, this did that. You seen this? Oh, this nigga. Shut the fuck up and run the fucking bag up, nigga. This social media shit got the fuck out of hand and you niggas are taking it too fucking serious. All right? I don't give a fuck what a nigga say, man. Nobody ain't saying nothing to me in my face. When I log this shit the fuck off, none of these niggas is around me. None of this shit changes my big account. None of this shit affects my day. Sort of affects your day. Don't make it affect mine. I'm over here happy, blessed, and minding my fucking business. I can give a fuck what another man say unless he addresses me by my name, calls me out, or calls my phone and says up in his fucking stuff. Other than that, I don't entertain goofy shit. I'm solid. I'm one hundo. I'm ten tones down. I don't give a fuck about the internet. I don't give a fuck if this shit crash and ever come on again. You niggas are taking this shit too fucking serious. Hellwell is happy. Hellwell is positive. Hellwell has no ops. Hellwell has no enemies. Hellwell is looking for nobody. Hellwell has people that when he see, he gonna select the shit out of them. But other than that, I'm not looking for those guys. All right? I'm getting to a very, very large fucking bag. And I'm gonna 
fuck with no other man is doing out here. No other man. If I had a son, I wouldn't give a fuck what he's doing, because he a man. And if you niggas, and all you men, that's one about what the fuck I'm doing, and y'all niggas are giving me homo Educational vibes. purpose. Because I don't give a fuck what another man's doing, and another man should ever be worrying about what another man doing unless he's trying to harm his family, stop his money, or cause him some danger. And I am not trying to do none of that to nobody. With that being said, I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Make sure you guys go to my Instagram, DJ underscore bless one, for more hottest news out here. Thank you for watching I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Salute, gang.